LakelandCarkeys.com. I am doing a unboxing of sorts of a tool. I brought this tool a couple of years back. I had brought the X tool. Uh, I believe it was either Pad Three or Pad Two programmer, and that was like one of my first programmers that I brought. Like one of the first full featured programmer, and I brought this KC five hundred one. Uh, to go with it, which is basically a separate add-on EEPROM programmer. It has uh, the infrared slot to do Mercedes-Benz keys, chip programming, EEPROM stuff. So I brought this as an add-on to uh, the X-Tool pad. And I ended up not liking the, the pad and I sent it back. And I was, I don't want to say I was stuck with this, but I held on to it in case... Because I wanted to upgrade to the Auto Pro Pad uh, G2 at the time. And I never ended up buying it. And I've had this sitting around for a while. And I was going through some other stuff. And I realized that they actually have laptop software that I can use this with. So I'm going to just do a quick unboxing. Just show you what's inside the box. And... Uh, I gotta see where I can actually get that download from because I'm looking at the download page to UHS hardware and it seems to not be working so I'll have to look and see if I can find uh, maybe the official Xtool uh, website to see if I could download the program. Alright so inside the box this is the case I know it's a little dusty and a little scratched up like I said it it floated around inside my van for a while before I put it back in the box, figuring that I was never going to use it. But I just want to give you a real quick view of the blow motor case that it's in. These snaps are pretty nice. Uh, Alright, and so basically this is your main unit here. Uh, so this has the EEPROM uh, ZIF socket, so you can put your EEPROMs in. It has the two... Uh, multi-pin connectors where you can uh, essentially attach an EEPROM reader on the top of that and solder you know different EEPROMs different connections in there um, this is the Mercedes-Benz uh, FSB uh, 3 key infrared reader you can go ahead and stick the Mercedes-Benz keys in there and this is just your basic uh, chip transponder reader you can either drop a chip into the small hole or you know stick your key into the slot so that it can read and then there is a little LCD screen on it alright so up top you got a barrel connector for power and your basic USB I believe that's USB B uh, cord inlet and then you have a DB connection down here if you're using like uh, your OBD2 DLC connector and you're trying to connect directly to the car or whatever what other accessories might be able to hook to this this will allow you to uh, uh, connect them in down there all right so and here is uh, some power cables that keep you powered up I'm not even sure what let's see output on this is 12 volts 3 amps Actually, I I might be able to use this for some other stuff also. That's pretty good. Good to know that I have that in there. And then up top, it just has a bunch of... Uh, these are like the little EEPROM connectors that I was talking about that will stick to the, to the top here. You can go ahead and say if you had to, you know, take an EEPROM off of a board... I'm actually working on a 2002 Lexus RX 300 ECU that I tried to use the clip to reset the, the EEPROM so I could add new keys to it and it would not read in circuit. I tried three different programmers, different clips, different methods. It would not read in circuit so I did uh, bring the, the ECU back to the shop and desoldered the chip off of the board and was able to read it in a socket like this. So they do come in handy every once in a while, but you have basically a bunch of different uh, adapters there. And then on this other side here, you have a bunch of different cables. So 
this is your Mercedes Benz uh, infrared so if I had it hooked to the car I would use that DD connector down the bottom like I was saying and I can plug into the car and read uh, EIS data using uh, this infrared dongle you know sometimes you need to try to pull the password out of the EIS and this is the cable that you would use and then there's just a bunch of uh, miscellaneous cables that will have you know for like your ECU connections and uh, other things that you might need to do and then there is a um, uh, eight pin clip that goes with this kit. It's actually in my van. I had took it out to use it with something else but you know, there's a variety of different uh, EEPROM weld or solder wires to uh, be able to do different functions and then it has your USB cable that's gonna go with that main unit and this has a USB-C to, to regular looks like a high-speed USB 3.0 outlet and then just some uh, different wires to connect different things I'm not sure what this connector goes to it might go to one of those other boards but these ends you can pin them for whatever you know whatever it is that you need to get off of here all right, so that was just a quick unboxing, and I will try to uh, see if I can find a good link to download the program and get it set up on my computer. All right, so I was able to go to the Emirates website, which uh, their URL is mk3pro.com, and I was able to find the software and download it to the computer. So I'll go ahead and get it installed, just in case anyone else is looking for the download. Uh, that's where I got it from. So that first download I did ended up being password protected and I just did another Google search for the software and I found it on x2.co.uk. All right, so that's the website. Just go into uh, the support folder and look for the KC501 download. Now this says version 1.0.0.3, but when you click the link, it will actually bring you to a mega download, and it is actually the .4, the newest version that downloads. So I was able to uh, download it. I got it installed, and I got a little chip in the chip reader. I was able to uh, pull some information. Um, yeah, so it's, you know, again, I don't know much about this program, so I would have to go through and, you know, figure out how to use it, look at a user guide, but it is up and running. So now I have another tool that, you know, is in my arsenal I can use. I know a while ago when I do Mercedes keys, I usually use uh, my Key Tool Plus, and that was down for a while and I had a couple of jobs that I passed on that yeah I could have did them with my Autel right now my Autel is out of subscription so I don't know how well it is going to do the online stuff but I could have used this this is something I could have used um, again I have to play with the program to see how in depth this will let me get in you know what you know find out what the true capabilities of what I can do with it as a standalone unit and you know one day down the road I will uh, get the auto pro pad and you know upgrade so that you know I can use this with the auto pro pad and you know use the auto pro pad for things that it does better than other programmers but I just want to give you all a real quick unboxing and uh, show you that uh, the X2 KC501 can be used with your laptop. Alright, thanks for watching. LakelandCarkeys.com